Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Marketing channel. In my previous videos, I have shown you the implementation of OSGA services. But if there are two services which are implementing the same interface, then how can we use the filters to pick one of the OSGA service from the sublet? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. This video is part of AEM Tutorials for Beginners Playlist, the link for which I will leave it out in the description box. Please check it out if you are interested. And please subscribe to my channel if you are liking my videos. Let's get started with the presentation. In our previous videos, we have discussed that the service implementation, OSGA services implementation has three parts to it. So the first thing is we need to create the service interface. Then we need to create the service implementation. And then we need to do the service injection. And hence to do that in our previous videos, first we have created this my service. Uh, this is an interface. Then we created an implementation, which is my service implementation. And then finally we have called that uh, using this sublet, like uh, the injection part, we have done it in the sublet. And we have uh, ultimately called one of the methods in this my service IMPL, uh, which is, uh, for example, this print logger. This method we have called, which will do nothing but uh, printing the logs. Okay, so this is what we have done in our previous videos. But now the question is, what if there are two implementation for the same service? Like for example, here we created my service, right? What if instead of just one service implementation, if there is also another service implementation, which is implementing the same service? So how do how does it look like? Like for example, if I open just uh, my service IMPL. If I see here, this class implements my service. And then if I open this uh, my service IMPL another, this class also implements my service. Okay, so both of these classes are implementing the same interface. Now, if we go to our servlet, if we have to get uh, here the my service dot print logger, then which service will get triggered? Will, will it invoke this services method or will it invoke this services method? Which one does it invoke? So how to say which one to invoke? That is what we are going to see today. So as we have seen in our previous video, there is some stuff which is happening at the build time, right? Whenever the bundle is being deployed in the AEM application, this service registry is being created. Right, the service component registry is uh, getting created, and in this registry, it will note down like what are the, all the implementation, like this table it will create, and what are all the implementation it will put it out in the left hand side, and what is the interface it will put it on on the right hand side, right? So this it is doing at the build time, right? And in the uh, run time, whenever the service is being re referenced in a servlet, for example, then it will check this table as to what is the interface. And then what is the uh, implementation which needs to be picked up so that, that it, it has to inject. Now if you see for the same interface there are multiple implementation. So now uh, how do we say uh, this implementation is different from this implementation if both of them are implementing the same service. Okay, so where do we need to distinguish it, right? We need to distinguish it at the component registry level. Right, so, uh, so since we have to distinguish it at the component registry level, we need to define something at, at in, inside this at the rate component. Right, so because this is what is going and getting registered as part of the component registry. Right? What is the service name and what is the class name? Uh, all that is getting registered based on this annotation. Right, so in this annotation, we add some property and in this property, we add the filter. Okay, and here I am saying country equal to IN. Okay, and if you see this another, right, here I say property country equal to US. Okay, so this is how I am distinguishing between uh, this uh, service to this, this service. Okay, so this OSGA framework, what it does is it will see this at the rate component notation and it will build this registry for us, right? So here what it does is uh, besides this uh, IMPL, it will note this property saying country equal to IN. Here it will register that. And it will, for this property, it will read this at the rate component. And, and for this uh, class, uh, it will register this property in the component registry. So this is happening at the build time. 
So in the service time, we need to say or we need to specify in the servlet what is that property and based on that property, one of these services will be called. Okay. So how do I say that? Okay. If you go here into the servlet, this is the reference I'm using and here I say target equal to country US. Okay. So if I say this, then what happens is uh, it it will pass this target to the service component registry and then it will pick up what is the service and it will look through all the implementation of that particular service and it will match this phrase country equal to us and whatever implementation has matched this property or this filter will get picked and will get injected into this variable okay and correspondingly the corresponding method will get called okay so that is what will happen okay now if you see the country equal to us so uh, this is the property uh, which matches and if you see it is my service impl another right so this is the class okay and if you see this print logger we are just returning uh, a string okay the test successful country equal to us right so this is the string we are passing okay so this string will be passed passed on to this servlet and then this servlet uh, will store that uh, return value into, into this red pal and in this servlet we are just uh, printing that into the loggers so all this we are doing just to see which service is being called okay so the same service will be there in this impl also but if you see the property here it is country equal to im and in this print logger we are just returning this uh, uh, string wherein we are uh, putting country equal to im and uh, this return value again will be stored as part of this uh, uh, red val and it will uh, print it so this this variable my service is not changing it is the same variable name but if i keep this value as us then this service or this class should get injected and if this class gets injected then this must be the print value which says country equal to us in the logs right but if i just change this value to in then for the same variable it needs to inject this service class which would instead of printing us in the return value here should print im okay so we will have to test whether this is happening or not okay so that's what we are going to do right now and to do this i need to put uh, this debug loggers for this servlet okay my ultimate aim is to see uh, what is being printed as part of this right so uh, to do that i need to enable the debug logger so i'll just add a new logger i'll put it to the debug level and i'll say this is servlet okay and i just give the service class my servlet class right and i'll just save this okay so the entire class path of my servlet i have given okay so i just need to see whether this got saved or not okay uh, the log got created now I need to trigger this servlet so that it comes into this code, it, uh, it injects all these uh, classes and it will trigger this print logger and it will ultimately print something in the log. Okay, so how do I trigger this servlet? So I'll just go into the Postman and I'll click on this send. Okay, so this is the URL I, which I have given which will trigger my servlet. So if you don't know anything about servlets and I have created a separate video on the servlet, okay, you can watch that in the EM tutorials for beginners playlist. And then get back to this video so i'll just hit the send button here so which will trigger the servlet and then if i go into the servlet log and see what gets printed okay so here it prints country equal to us okay so then which one got printed right which uh, service got triggered here okay so if i just get back to this here i gave country equal to us so this must have got uh, injected and uh, what is the confirmation that this got injected this is the log logger which got printed which has country equal to us in it right so that is the confirmation which we are getting that this is the service which is being injected okay so now uh, let's uh, do this thing here instead of country equal to us i'll put it as in okay so now if you see this property this should get triggered or this should get injected in this reference instead of this one okay 
so let's see whether that is happening or not okay so let me compile this code and then we'll test it okay so now the code got compiled so what we'll do is we'll again trigger this servlet okay we'll again trigger this servlet and see what is getting printed in the logs okay so let me go to the postman again and hit this send button okay now let me come back to the loggers and if i just refresh this loggers you see the country in got printed okay which means that the code instead of uh, injecting this service it has injected this service and what is the confirmation for that in the here in the print logger we are written country equal to in and here in the print logger we are written country equal to us since it printed country equal to in it is assumed that it has injected this service okay so like this without changing the service variable just by changing this property injection property we can trigger the relevant service so this is how you can apply filters in the reference and invoke the respective osj service implementation that's it for today jai hind